Well guys, Wo Long Fallen Dynasty is finally here, or at least I can finally play it now. Anyway, being an avid Dynasty Warriors fan, I definitely had to check this game out. I mean, come on, the game has Zhao Yun in it. How could I not want to play? Another has fallen to my spear! Now, I don't think I'm going to go the normal guide route on the game, at least not right now. I am definitely a noob when it comes to this game, as there are plenty of people out there already doing that. Instead, I'm going to summarize the hours of trying to get through one area at a time and hope you all enjoy it. So so this is the prologue that we go through before getting to the actual game and it feels like it's one of those tests that you have to actually get through to see if you're even worthy playing the game. So to start off, Wo Long he has a pretty cool start, he has a nice little cutscene, a couple of introductory things, and, you know, you got Zuo C up there in the darkness licking his chops, talking about how he's spying on us or whatever it may be. And then it proceeds to a customization screen where I get to create my own person that's very similar to Dynasty Wars 9 Empires or perhaps the Neo series, which I haven't played, but it's a very similar process. Anyway, I finished my guy and he looks so beautiful and he's so sweet. My eyes! And I don't think I get to actually name my guy, so I don't know what his name is. Anyway, so I get into the game and the peons I know from Dynasty Warriors are in the game, but in this game, they are pretty deadly. I mean, one swing, it's like fighting against, you know, the bodyguards from the old Dynasty Warriors games. It took me probably about 15 times to get through just the basic section of enemies, like the, like the little warm-up area where you get used to playing the game, probably about 15 times. Uh, that's how many times they killed me. I was trying to figure out a way to be fancy and stuff like that. That wasn't working. But hey, part of the learning curve. I mean, when I picked up the game, I figured it would be similar to Dynasty Warriors in the sense that it would be a, you know, a breeze. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. Anyways, so my first initial thoughts on the game was that it was frustrating. One, because I kept mixing up Dynasty Warriors controls. I wanted to, like, roll out the way or dodge with RB. I was trying to block a certain way and then, like, use the, uh, I don't know if Dynasty Warriors fans would know, but when you block and you press X to push them away from you, or you press uh, square and you push them away from you. I was trying to do that. It, um, yeah, it was not working. But it's been a pretty fun game so far. I had a lot of fun with that. I'm missing a lot of things because, again, I'm just jumping into it and not really watching anything else i didn't want to like spoil anything or know what's going to happen next so i just wanted to try and come up with a blank sheet blank canvas so i end up getting to the section at some point there's this little section where this little dog eating beast thing is chilling i thought i was supposed to fight it he ended up killing me and i was like you know what i'm good eventually i get through all of the basic sections where all the little people are after you you know pretty much go through the tutorial of the game and now i come up to a spot that obviously looks like a spot where you're going to fight a boss and i jump down and and guess who shows up? It's freaking Zhang Fei. No, I'm kidding. It's literally Zhang Liang on steroids. I mean, who is that really him? I mean, is this what happens when you follow the way of peace? Bring in the age of the way of peace! He looks like he sucked up the soul of Zhang Fei and then turned it into him. If I had to describe my first encounter with a boss of this caliber, I would explain it as trying to pull hair off of a bald guy because it was that difficult to beat. I mean, I was completely flabbergasted with how difficult this character was to beat. And on top of that, once I beat the first phase of this dude, because I was like, yes, got him down. I beat him. We're good. This dude freaking transformed. Oh, I guess he got tired of freezing rivers and decided to amp up the magic. If I had to guess in total, it probably took me a around 40 tries to actually beat this guy like 40 and that was after scouring youtube making sure i wasn't the only one struggling with it just to make myself feel a little bit better and maybe looking up a couple things on what the combat was or what was the recommended way to beat him you know we all do it right but yeah that's pretty much it two hours of gameplay summarized into a neat package nice little five minutes well long has been an interesting game so far i've had a lot of fun with it i've had a lot of frustration with it definitely a game that i would not play if it wasn't Dynasty Warriors related, but I'm having fun with it so far. If you guys want me to upload the full walkthrough I did with it, of course, with the appropriate of me, you know, showing me never die, you know, because I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> Let me know down below and I'll upload it. It'll probably be a little longer than this one, and uh, you guys can enjoy me slamming my head against the wall. So far, well, along it's a challenging, rewarding game. Again, I'm having a lot of fun with it, and you know, it's Dynasty Warriors related, so I have to see it through. I want to know what happens. So Zhao Yun's in the game at some point. I'm pretty sure I saw Guan Yu and Zhang Fei as well, so I want to see what what happens with that um but yeah i mean that's all i have very short i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you all in the next video thanks for watching everyone